Uh, the extremes seem to be speaking to many people in Europe in a way that traditional parties have not been. Uh, Jean-Claude Trichet, if I come to you, someone say deeply involved in European affairs for so long. Uh, is this really a turning point now? Uh, I would say that uh, in Europe, which is uh, creating its own democracy, and it's very impressive to see the participation, we have, of course, uh, a level of frustration of our fellow citizens, which is represented in this nationalist, protectionist, uh, xenophobic uh, sensitivity, say. But at the difference of what happened in the US or in the UK, it, it's a minority. And when you look at the present estimates, the present uh, projections, you see that they will not have the capacity of uh, being in any way uh, an influential majority. Not they a dominant force, but perhaps a disruptive force. Probably 170 out of the 750, we will see exactly surely when the, the MPs of the UK... But surely that's living. enough if not to dominate. Of course, it's not a majority, but it is enough to, uh, to, to disrupt. I think that depends entirely on the functioning of our own European democracy and whether or not the new coalition will incorporate the Green, incorporate the Liberals and so forth. I'm absolutely... Sure, that of course we won't be in the same tradition of traditional right and traditional left having the majority. It would be a larger majority. It is democracy in action, it's good, but in my opinion, this is not at all what some had anticipated, namely a phenomenon which would be as grave as what happened in the US, for instance, or perhaps in the UK with Brexit.